Hey guys, it is Emily and you may notice there's something a little bit different about me this time. I've had a haircut. Cutting my hair is something I've been thinking about for a pretty decent length of time. But you may know I've recently been doing a show, Les Mis, and I had to wait until the show was over. I guess this video was also inspired by my beautiful friend Kiara and her video that she made over on her channel. I'll link it in the description. I don't want to spoil it for you. It was really significant for her. She had some pretty amazing things to say. My reasons aren't quite the same, but I wanted to make my own video to explore, I guess, the things I've been thinking about in regards to my own change. It is not necessarily deep and meaningful. It's simply a change. I like to be different. I like to be unique, my own person. I like to, I guess, express myself through my appearance, um, with my style. I've always been interested in the way people perceive others, uh, I guess you could say first impressions. I'm always thinking, I wonder what this per person thinks of me. In just an indifferent way, I guess not necessarily like, oh my goodness, I hope they think of me, you know, in a positive way. I've always just like, I wonder what this person thinks of me when they see me. And also, I just in general like to challenge people and make them think. Being a female and going for a short pixie cut like this one can be considered a pretty bold and brave move because of all the stereotypes and pretty strong opinions people have about women with short hair. Again, it's just another opportunity that I have to prove people wrong and challenge their thinking and also just continue to create myself and be the person that I want to be to move forward. And I guess that takes me to my second point. Many of you may know that I, over the last couple of years, have dealt with anorexia nervosa and depression. I guess the place I'm in, the mental place I'm in now is pretty good considering where I've been in the last couple of years. And I guess across those couple of years, I've had a bit of a hair journey. <sighs> For the first year, I had really long hair, probably down to my waist. You know, it was, it was really lovely hair. I, I loved it. Um, I've always loved my long hair. But unfortunately, as I got sicker, it didn't really get so nice. And sadly, one of the side effects of having um, something like anorexia is that it does affect you physically. It's a mental illness, but it's got a huge amount of physical consequences. And one of those is that my hair started to fall out. It was getting, it was just coming out in clumps. It was disgusting. And I guess I had some unhealthy thoughts attached to that as well. Last year, I spent three months in hospital dealing with my situation <laughs> over two admissions. I guess just before my second admission, um, I was in a pretty nasty place mentally and physically. I wasn't exactly doing my best. Um, no, that was definitely a pretty dark place I was in. Um, I was pretty scared about what I had become and the fact that I had completely lost control over who I was and what I was doing. I wanted to get better, but I knew I couldn't do it by myself. So just before my second mission, I got my hair cut off into a bob. I was hoping that that would symbolize, I guess, me breaking away from all of that darkness and the start of a journey of recovery. And it was. It's taken a while, but the place I'm in is is pretty decent. I did spend some time um, in intensive outpatient and with various therapy. I've had some ups and downs, but I've gotten to a place where I can taste recovery, real recovery, um, happiness. I am discovering myself and I am becoming myself and the person I want to be. And that's exciting. It's only been in even the last couple months that I've really started to be excited about my future because this time I actually have a future to think about. And then I guess we've got this change now. I feel like I guess I've gotten to a place where I'm so close to being at um, able to fully embrace a full recovery but it's it's pretty scary <laughs> and you know even the last week or something my head has been filled with I guess unfortunate nostalgic unnecessary thoughts this new haircut also is in a moment of significance and a change a new change that I want to embrace I want to leave everything behind and step out and into myself to not try to be anyone else but myself. I'm trying to embrace a new era and it's just, I guess it's funny that we, we do things <laughs> to show that I don't have to get a haircut to mean that I'm changing or wanting to 
do something big. For me, I express myself visually through my appearance and my style. It is significant for me. It's personal and I hope that it can help me hold on to the, the new things that are coming, the person I'm becoming rather than the person I was. That was still me, but I have grown. I am now even more me, I guess. I'm sorry if this is extremely confusing. I'm pretty confused and I'm not very good at just speaking when I don't have a flippin' script written in front of me. But I hope this has helped you to understand me a little bit better and to be excited with me for this, this new chapter of my life that I hope is going to be a very positive one. Keep pushing me in a forward direction. So thank you very much for your time. Um, I appreciate it. And if you want to stick around, see more of me, feel free to subscribe. I'm really excited because recently I passed 300 subscribers and that's, for me, is I find that incredible that people want to stick around, see the things that I create, such as these videos and so many different types of videos. It'd be awesome if you wanted to stick around with me, with the fam. Press like if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment about your own opinions, about, you know, what I've done, if you are thinking of anything similar. Have a beautiful day. Till next time. Bye.